it's your boy Professor Banner, aka Hulk. We're here, UK Battle Rap News Daily. I'm trying to bang out a couple of videos for you lot, so we've got some content for you lot, because why do I leave you waiting so long? How dare I? How flipping dare I? Now, for real though, tell your mama said safe, tell your nana said wagwan, and tell all the ladies in your family that are over the age of 25 that I said, baby. Yeah, but anyway, um, I did go live. We did do our little kind of recap of the um, Don't Flop, Don't Flop Street Battles Volume 4. But my live got taken down because I started watching other shit as well and doing some reactions and shit. So I am going to just quickly do another recap of Don't Flop Street Battles Volume 4. If you want to check out some of the interviews from the day, they are on the channel as well. I interviewed the new cameraman. I interviewed... Soweto Kinch and I interviewed Danny Jack so go check them videos out on the YouTube channel right now after you've watched this don't turn it off to go and watch them don't fucking dare watch this one first finish it finish it all right so basically it was a sick little event um the biggest crowd kind of to, to see uh watching battles in a long time and it, that wasn't intentional like I was pissed off so um the first thing is man got to fucking birmingham i've booked my hotel like two weeks before the train everything i've got to birmingham some fucking dickhead on the counter is telling me that you can't check in without a company letter i said okay is it he said yeah you need an official letter from your company i said all right cool i'm gonna get my manager to message me now i went outside i got on adobe spark post i created a fucking fake letter i emailed it from one account to the other i went in and i said here mate my manager's emailed me he said cool can you email that to me i emailed it to him got him told uh obviously he had to do the same thing so i sent him the letter what would they do without hulk huh the real savior you know the real actual savior who actually saves people not this pretend savior who just talks about being a savior but you're not a savior lad um so yeah we got into the hotel boom 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 went to the peace gardens there was a few people there hold tight weapon free birmingham seb hold tight everyone um there was quite a few people there still i think a few people bought people with them title flipping bring about fucking eight people i think um so yeah, Earl was kind of pissed off. Like he didn't actually want to do the battles when we got there. And like, obviously some next group of kids came over. They was looking and he said, can they come watch? Man was like, yeah. Then Earl turned around, there was even more people. I think he was literally just going to call off the battles. He didn't want to do it. I think he was shook. But I was trying to explain as well. Like it's Birmingham, isn't it? Like this is, the, you know, this ain't exactly like Buckingham Palace, in it? I think the police are used to people meeting up a bit. Um, so yeah, it, it was what it was. We got off to a good event. Um couple of my highlights of the day uh we had jody bigfoot and drop dead fred versus for me and pablo milky bar i'm not gonna lie jody bigfoot and drop dead fred absolutely killed it uh for me was really good so was pablo but i think for me was a bit better than pablo and it showed uh maybe it's the experience of battling live um maybe it's his style i don't know but he just seemed a lot more comfortable than pablo uh and it kind of showed and reflected in their team but jody bigfoot and drop dead fred had some really good flipping uh chemistry some good stuff and then yesterday as well on the live i was actually watching uh jody bigfoot's flipping like movie music video shit he did in japan which is absolutely sick as well so go check that out just type jody bigfoot and it's some japanese name and that he's got that japanese grand artist and shit on there it's like it's actually hard um so yeah that was a sick battle i was gonna i'd give that one to jody bigfoot and drop dead fred um without a doubt um we had some other good battles we had jim bob gnarly versus jay franklin i believe it was um again i'm gonna give that one to jay franklin but jim bob gnarly did come good in one of the rounds um wavy john oh fuck who did wavy john battle that rapper dale wavy john battled that rapper dale Again, I think I'm going to give that 2-1 to Dell, but Wavy John's third was his best round so far that I've seen. He done a, a whole round about uh, getting the links taken out of his watch. Wanker. Um, so, yeah. Nah, that was a good battle still. Um, and there was the best newcomer. The best newcomer of Don't Flop of the Year. I think he had a trophy and some money on the line. It was Orwin versus Just Trev. I'm not going to lie, Trev's stuff was a bit shorter than Orwin's. Orwin packed a lot in as well. He's spitting a bit faster. Trev was more about the performance and the jokes, but I just think Orwin took it on consistency, more uh, more material and just a little bit harder hitting a punch every kind of... He was attacking him a lot more throughout the material as opposed to Trev was kind of being a bit more funnier and entertaining the crowd a bit more, but not as attacked tack driven on Orwin. Um 
trying to think. I know there must have been other battles. I know I done a freestyle battle versus Soweto Kinch. Big up, check out the interview with him on the channel. We talk about Black Juju and his new project and everything that's coming up. Uh, sick freestyle four bar back to back uh battle. <clears throat> Obviously, you've probably seen Soweto Kinch do that sort of shit with Sharon. He was in the Royal Rumble, I think, with Big Cannon and then man. Um, but yeah, lit day, lit event. Uh. But what can I say? We need to just get this vibe back popping, man. It's exciting to see people at events. It's exciting to battle in front of people. It's exciting to get a reaction. Bro, I got my first proper reaction in a long time, bro. I can say that, but obviously I got reactions from like Frost and Impact and uh, FT and that when I battled Tech. But that was like three, four people. Like on this weekend, I got a reaction of like 20 people all at the same time, bro. It felt good again. You know, one of them ones like, hey, this is what man do this for. So now nah, for real, um, make sure you come to the next events. We've got Beat Fighter quarterfinals uh, coming up in June. I will post the date in the description or I'll pop the flyer onto the screen if I'm feeling generous. Um, but yeah, come and you can get some tickets. There's tickets left and you can actually come and see that. It's see your tickets. It's at the engine rooms in Bow and the quarterfinals is myself versus Monroe. Uh, Zen versus Kiz. Tidal versus Daniel Sun and Caesar versus Timeless. So I'm getting the burps, man. But yo, listen, make sure, uh, like, I'll do a predictions to that one uh, a bit closer to the time. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Make sure you have said to your mum that I said, Wagwan be a beloved. Mm -mm. Nah, for real though, it's been UK Battle Rap News Daily. My dons. <laughs>